guys, welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars. This week it was the best years of the stars' lives. So they were dancing for the best years of their lives. Sean and Peter were up first. Uh, of course, 2012 was the best year of his life when he met his fiancée, Catherine. Uh, Alright, so they did a Viennese waltz. Um, he's really stiff. And there was two lifts. He was stiff as a board. Carrie Ann said she didn't duck last week for the lifts, but he had two this week, so party's over. She's deducting. And she did. She only gave them a six, so they ended up with a 20. I thought that was pretty kind, considering. All right, um, Victor and Lindsay up next. 2011 was his year. That was when he won the world championship. Um, they did a Paso Doble. I was pretty excited for this because I thought um, after last week's performance that this one was going to be really good. No. <laughs> it was terrible. <sighs> he was semi-angry. It seemed like he forgot a lot of the steps. He was an angry bear in the swamp. And his solo was pretty much horrible because he just did that like the whole solo <laughs> 18 Jacoby and Karina up next 2012 duh but it's not for the reasons you're thinking kids it's not because of the Super Bowl it's because that was the year his son was born and his son is a freaking QT love that kid he had a little puff of hair on the top it was just adorable uh, Foxtrot was their dance, and it was okay. Um, he did a good job. It didn't suck. It wasn't phenomenal. Uh, did Brooke really say <laughs> about her about his son, his delicious little face? I think you need to go have a granola bar or something, Brooke, and stop thinking about eating all the time. <laughs> go have a sandwich. All right, that was kind of weird. 24 for that. Uh, performance. Allie and Mark, 2012. Duh, it's the Olympics, if you didn't know that. Alright, so they had a contemporary. They really lucked out this week, and it was excellent because gymnasts really, they excel at contemporary because it's kind of like floor dance. Um, <laughs> I loved, loved, loved watching her parents in the audience at the um, Olympics because they would get so into watching her and her dad was in the audience tonight sitting with two of the Fierce Five and it was hilarious. I freaking love her parents. He was really jazzed. They got a 27 which just so happened to be the highest score of the night. Andy and Sharna were up next and I think this year is his year because he's sober. That's a good reason to celebrate, but he decided to dedicate his dance to his 15-year-old daughter, who looks like a real sweetheart. She's always supporting him in the audience, and she's really pretty, too. Um, they did a Viennese waltz, and let's just say Andy did a good job for and by Andy standards. It was his personal best, and Carrie Ann, get it under control. I mean, at one point, I think she was literally sobbing. It wasn't that emotional, really. <laughs> he wasn't crying as hard as you were crying, so... And it's his life. So they got a 21. Uh, Zendaya and Val. Uh, 2009 was her favorite year, or the best year of her life. It's when she got discovered by Disney. They did a samba. I was excited for this, because this was the only samba of the night. And it was a very sophisticated samba. Val must just be so thrilled because it's so nice to choreograph for somebody who's an actual dancer. <laughs> Not like some of the other schlubs that they've had in the past. Um, it was really sophisticated and it was really good. And when Len only gave them an 8, I was like, WTF Len, really? I really think that was one of the best dances of the night and they only got a 26. Ingo and Kim up next. Uh, 2009 was his year. 
the best year because that was the year that he got married to his beautiful wife and started having children. She, and the dance was pretty beautiful. Um, it was a Viennese waltz. It was elegant. It was romantic. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but he's improving. So 23 for them. D.L. and Cheryl. Oh boy. His year was in eighth grade when he was in eighth grade. <laughs> I don't think they said the year. Um, they did a foxtrot. And he's improved slightly from last week, but that is not saying much at all because he is like a stiff, clunky baby. And the solo was ridiculous because everybody had to do, all of the celebrities had to do a solo tonight. <sighs> this was his solo. He ran up to the judge's desk, humped it twice, clumsily ran down the stairs and started crawling around on the dance floor. That's a solo that, that garners a 21 for the dance? Really? I don't think so. I think the judges were overly kind, probably trying to make up for the harsh comments last week, which weren't really that harsh because they were true. <laughs> Alright, Kelly and Derek up next. Um, Kelly's favorite or most meaningful or best year of her life was... Well, the day. She can pinpoint it to the day. She doesn't need to say, oh, it's been this year. It's January 1st, 2011. That's when she married her husband. They kind of eloped. And he wrote a song about it. And he was there to sing it, which was amazing. And they did a rumba, and it was beautiful, and it was special, and it was just romantic and cool that her husband was there. And they ended up with a 26. Really? <sighs> For some reason, they're really favoring Allie tonight when other people are, I think, more deserving or just as deserving. Len. I, you know, Len is always a stick in the mud. He's always lower. He likes to control everything by using his score. When he knows it should be higher, he'll make it lower so that he can pump up other people's scores. I don't like that. Lisa and Gleb closed the show. Uh, her year was, I think, last year. It was her daughter's wedding. I remember it because I watched it on uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And they had a cha-cha. And during rehearsals earlier this week, she got sick. She got so exhausted. She had a flu. She had a temperature. And the doctor was like, um, honey, you got to rest because this, this isn't good. And she decided 15 minutes before she was going to go on that she was going to go on. And it was okay considering they didn't have dress rehearsal. She was sick. They were traveling all over the place. And the judges, what did they do? They practically farted in her face by giving them an 18. Are you telling me that D.L who had all the time in the world to prepare for this dance and was crawling around on the floor, deserved a higher score than Lisa, who went out there and, like, really gave it her all? I don't agree with that. All right. Um, tomorrow's going to be the results show, and they're going to have Andrea Bocelli. They're going to have freaking J-Lo. I wonder if she's going to bring her doy boy. And <laughs> I, I would almost bet on it. And... Somebody's going home, and I don't think it's the person that I want to go home. I would like to see D.L. go home because I really, I don't think he's that good, and I don't know how, I don't know how much he's trying, but it doesn't appear to be as hard as everyone else. I don't think he wants to be there as much as everyone else. I'm, unfortunately, I think it might be Lisa going home, so we'll have to tune in and see what's going on, or Andy. I feel bad for Andy. He's really trying. He wants to be there, but I don't think he's got the fan base that some of these other people have. So, until tomorrow, well, leave it in the comments what you think. I'd love to know. Till tomorrow, much love.